and welcome to Finchley College. Uh, today's um, video is about calculating the gradient of a slope. Um, for example, you have a ramp over a long distance of say 30 meters length. We have a level at the beginning start of the ramp. We have a level at the top of the ramp. So it's 1.5 meters and 2.1 meters. If we subtract the two from each other, we get a fall of 0.6 meters over a length of 30 meters. What I wanted to calculate is the, uh, the gradient, which is 1 in 50. Well, I need to calculate that. To calculate that, I write this formula. It's a simple formula. I write the fall, 0.6 meters of fall over 30 meters. What is, the, in 1 meter of fall, what is the distance? So will be 1 meter uh, times 30 divided to 0.6 and that gives me 50. So the gradient will be 1 in 50 meters. If I wanted to do the opposite and calculate what is the fall per meter, I'll write opposite, I'll write 30 meters of length. I have 30 meters of length. In that length I fall 0.6. In 1 meter how much will be the fall? So in that case, we'll be right. x is 1 times 0.6 divided to 30. That gives me 0.02 meters, which is the same as 20 millimeters per meter. So simply, to calculate the gradient of a slope, we will simply divide the length over the fall. 30 over 0.6 gives me 50. If we have the length, if we have the fall, we have the gradient. To calculate the fall per meter, we do the opposite. We divide the fall over the length, and that gives us that. So, as long as I have the starting level and I have the end level, and as long as I have the overall horizontal distance between the two, I can calculate the gradient, 1 in 50, and I can calculate the fall per meter. That will conclude the uh, short lesson today about uh, calculating gradient of a slope. If you need more information, you can email me at finchleycollege at um, yahoo.com or simply uh, visit our website and fill in the, um, the, the form. Thank you very much.